Okay, I have a 10 foot Pelican Mission 100 sitting kayak here and I'm gonna attempt to get back in it in the water. I already tried getting back from the side when I can touch the ground and I was able to get in because I can jump up high and get on that way. Now I'm gonna go somewhere that's deep enough that I cannot touch the ground. So in order to get in that way, I have to enter from the front of the kayak. So yeah, here we go. So now I'm, uh, I can barely touch the ground. And in order to do this, I have to enter from the front. So what you wanna do, push down, grab there. And then spread your leg apart, balance like that. Pull, your, pull yourself up slowly. You can always take a break. And then you want to balance. Put your foot. Put your foot in the middle of the kayak. Really focus. And sit back down. It's not the not the easiest, but it's doable. Yeah, and then you're good to go. Here, I'm gonna try enter from the side now. So I'm just gonna hop out now. Okay, now I can touch the ground. So I'm gonna try, when you, you can touch the ground, you can enter from the side. I'm gonna try that. Nice and easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how you enter the kayak. When you can touch the ground and when you cannot touch the ground. Okay, we're gonna do more kayak stability tests now. There's Haley. Okay. Okay, first I'm gonna try standing up, okay? Okay. I think he said, oh yeah, too soon. <laughs> Got your sunglasses there? That's my sunglasses for a sec. So we'll see Lou jumping into the kayak a second time. <laughs> okay, so how do you get into the kayak? <laughs> nice yeah, and easy. Again. Do you want me to hold your sunglasses? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. standing in the kayak, take two. This time, I'm gonna stand in the seat, okay? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, it's easier to stand in the seat than standing off the seat. I'm gonna try <laughs> sitting in the back. Yours. You want those pieces on clip first, though? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The back can definitely not take my weight. <laughs> I'll try again from this side. Okay. Okay, I also tried I also tried entering from the back once the water was above me and I couldn't because I would literally kill the kayak. <laughs> like it, it can't take my weight. Maybe I could. Oh. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> he just slashed me really good. I think I'm about 170 pounds. Um, sitting in the back is no good. Let's try sitting on the side. There's no way. Like, I don't even know if I should try. Okay, so how far can you lean over before he tilts? Oh. Okay, so fairly quick. Now let's try it sitting in the front. It's like half full of water already. This is probably a more real life scenario. You just flip your kayak and like it's half full of water. See if you can get back inside. Nope. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, it is now very full of water. <laughs> show, show, show everyone how full it is. Okay, so, so basically it's full of water right now. And let's see if I can still paddle. Let's just see how how it's sitting in the water. It is very low. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm thinking that paddling is not an option. <laughs> Unless you have a really, really good life jacket, you're not gonna paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if you flip and you have like more than half um, full of water, the best bet is to just swim the kayak to shore. It's still floating. Mm -hmm. Like it's floating by itself, eh? Yeah. But if I, I go in there, it won't. You might be able to use it as like a log. Feel like I'm floating with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go deeper and see, see if I can like just hang on to it. I don't think you can put more water. Can you? So this is as full as it gets. So this is as full as it gets and yeah I can still hang on to it. Like it's still floating with my weight. Would it be better if I flip it? Probably I mean, a little harder to hold on to. No, it's easier to hold on to because is it? It doesn't flip. It doesn't roll. But like it's it's full to the brim. It's not sinking. You're not gonna lose your kayak to the bottom of the lake. There, there's no, there's no way you can sit on it. I think that concludes the test, okay? Mm -hmm. Just don't flip it. So moral of the story, don't flip your kayak. Oh, what you could do, okay, I have an idea. If you have a pump, right? Or like a bucket, you could slowly start taking water out. A little longer than a few minutes later. It would be a lot more easier if you had a bucket. I think let's try now. We still got quite a bit of water, water, but a lot better, right? Mm -hmm. There. Now we're good to go. So basically, if you if you flip and fill your kayak with full of water, just swim into where it's shallow enough, get most of the water out, and then you can just hop in. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time. You like it? <laughs> Bye, Zuzu. Have a good trip. What you looking at? Oh, she touched the water. Good girl. 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 Good girl.